The executive secretary of the Ghana Association of Savings and Loans, Trinibua, has disputed claims that majority of customers of the defunct savings and loans companies have been paid. In an interview, he said timelines announced by the receiver have not been adhered to. More detail in the following report. To the Executive Secretary of the Association, Trinibua Kodiabwache, majority of customers of the defunct savings and loans companies have not received their deposits almost six months after the Bank of Ghana revoked their licenses, adding that the association has met the receiver and given timelines for payments to be made, which he has agreed to. Indication from the receiver's office also suggests that they have paid a number of the customers and that they have also transferred a sizable amounts of funds to CBG for customers to go and claim. Just while I was walking in here, I received a text message uh, from the receiver's office that uh, as the normal message they send to customers that go your, your amount has been validated, you can go and claim. So from the receiver's office and also tying it with what the president said on the 24th of December last month, we are expecting that every customer should be paid. He revealed how much money has been locked up after the cleanup exercise. That 15 savings and loans that got their license revoked, you are dealing with about 2 million customers. And these 2 million accounts or customers if you take GN alone, GN had about 1.2 million customers out of the 2 million. So if GN alone had about almost half of these customers. If you're talking about the funds that is um, presumably supposed to be locked up in this or involved in this, you are talking in excess of 4 billion. He says another area of concern is the savings and loans companies who have their funds locked up with those that collapsed. The financial institutions like my members who have their funds locked up in these institutions which has been duly validated by the receiver. We are expecting that these savings and loans companies will receive their funds so that they will continue to serve their clients well. Meanwhile, the receiver of the 347 microfinance companies and the 23 savings and loans and finance houses, whose licenses were revoked on May 31, 2019 and August 16, 2019, Eric Nananipa has announced that customers of the defunct financial institutions should go to the former head office of Unicredit Savings and Loans, number 3 Northridge Lane, near Accra High School, for validation and payment of claims. The move is to allow members on the teams to speed up the validation process and expeditiously attend to depositors regarding the validation and payment of their claims.